once a favorite of mine, a legend we all know and love. Our hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. I tell you, I tell you, the Dragonborn comes. With a voice-wielding power of the ancient Lord Art. Believe, believe, the Dragonborn comes. Welcome guys, hope you're having a great day today. And uh, today I'm gonna show you my best mods for Skyrim, which just came out for uh, the PS4 Plus extra tier. And uh, it's really an amazing game and with all these mods you can make it look uh, super awesome, even better, because it has such a beautiful art style. And uh, with these mods I'm gonna show you uh, the list stuff and the load order right load order so they don't crash your game or anything so uh, this is kind of how it looks in this particular spot because you know depending on the light and the weather that you get which can be very variating uh, you get different results but uh, I'll show you right next up the load order and uh, the best mods uh, that I found <laughs> See what happens, homeboy? You almost with Lydia. Now what you get? So as I was saying, guys, I hope you enjoy these mods and uh, enjoy cruising around beautiful Skyrim. You know it's glory. And I uh, hope you have a great day. Check out the mods and the mod list right next stop. Take care. Bye.
There's been word of some trouble nearby. I'm on my way to investigate. And here's Loadrunner. You wanna start with the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch, which fixes a lot of uh, bugs from the base game. And that is the first one that you wanna put in there. Then you can go through the biggest ones and the ones that alter the most uh, in the game, and usually the biggest files. And uh, from that you're gonna take it to the smaller ones. Get this one, this Eldon's Ultimate Armory. Uh, super awesome, you get absolutely every weapon you can imagine and you can carry it. Uh, Fender is Magic Reloaded, of course. This one got in a recent update, you, and now it's split into two. So you gotta download part one and part two and put them one after the other. Then you we river with supreme when Akavidi ruins got those Falgrith got Kato's Riverwood Kato's White Run Gardens of White Run Windhelm Supreme the Valley of Peace that's a very cool place I'm gonna go visit it it's a super awesome place in the recommend it. Master the Summit. Bridges of Skyrim. This will help you traverse more easily. Inspire Palace. Then you wanna put this mod for those mounts. It's very cool. It's a lot more detail and uh, it's really a better rendition uh, than the vanilla one, original one. Then you want to go with Forest of Skyrim, this will improve the forest overall. Immersive Fallen Trees, this will also improve your forests. Skyrim Spring Tree, if you like this kind of cherry blossom trees. There will be some here and there. Dense Grass helps the overall grass look of the game and uh, adds more to it. Better dressed NPCs, well just as it says, your NPCs you found around will be better dressed. Better loot, you find better treasures, unlimited sprinting, it's always useful. Easy weather changer, that will help you change the weather on the fly in the, in, in the game. After doing obviously the necessary missions to unlock it, you can change it. And you want to put Ingrid as a Skyrim companion. Various wild, this uh, makes some uh, alternative creatures, will increase the uh, variety. The wild creatures you find in there, then now you want to put ELE interior lighting overhaul, this will improve the uh, lighting of the interiors. Then you want to put rustic weather and lightning, now I don't have it enabled because uh, it's not compatible with the other ones that I have right now but you can put it in this order and you can try it whenever you want to check out how good it looks I recommend this because it's one of the best as well but you need to disable the other ones you have and enable this one 
for it to work properly. The weather, mo the weather modification uh, mods. Then you got surreal lightning. This gives very different look, but in this right now I have it uh, disabled because of the other mods I have right now enabled. But you can try that as well. It's very cool. Medical agers, weather modification. That one's really good too, but gotta just enable those ones and disable the other ones that are underneath it that I'm using right now like this one dolomite weather and lightning this is very good and always remember use this order that I'm using so so uh, everything is compatible and everything is uh, working properly then you have lively graphics overhaul that gives a very cool look to the game and right now I don't have it enabled but you can try it and it's very cool. Rusty Weather Smooth RT1 A. This is really cool, helps the uh, weather looking overall. Rusty Weather Smooth RT2. The third one is for clears and cloudies. This one is for fogs. This one is for rains, the number three. Rusty Weather Smooth RT4. This one is for snows. Supreme volumetic, volumetic, volumetic fog <laughs> is a really good one. Uh, looks very realistic and helps the uh, immersion as well. I recommend you put it, you use it as well. I have these ones enabled as you can see. You can see the ones I have enabled and then uh, do the same loader and uh, enabling. Then you want to put louder nature, birds and insects. Uh, this is really nice. It helps you feel in nature and helps the overall immersion. Then TLS improved sounds overhaul. Then you wanna put in chunk effect plus. Rich Skyrim merchants. This will make the merchants have more money overall in every, in every place in the game. Player carry weight, you wanna put it this one also because you can carry <laughs> limitless things. Then you wanna put Skyrim vanity. You want to put better mail presets. That one you can use it, but that one you have to start the game, make the character, and uh, go and uh, disable it right away. That's how it works. So uh, right now I don't have it enabled, but you can try. That's a good one. Then you want to put water and terrain enhancements. You put whole border banners this will help the overall guiding system in the game as you traverse then you want to put lampposts of Skyrim this will make them look better and add more to them there will be more of them then you want to put rain and snow this improves the the effects the weathers and uh, all the weather effects the you will get in your clothes that will look more real and more immersive. You want to put birds and flocks, this helps the sound design overall. Then you want to put various dragons, this sells a variety of dragons that are in the game, it adds more to them. You want to put better voices, internal clothes, more kill moves and decapitations, as you saw a couple of them in the in the small showcase I did at the start the video and this ultimate play start you can try it uh, right now I don't have it enabled but it's really good if you want everything in the get go and then you want to put multiple followers system so you can have multiple followers like a bossy <laughs> this was a very good one as well I had like three or four one time and <laughs> <laughs> there were too many. Anyone we encountered, we just slaughtered them <laughs> like it was nothing. And we were all very powerful. I had a wizard from Winterhold. <laughs> then you want to put a uh, magical white run. You may try that one, that's a good one, but uh, you should disable the other white run mod that I showed you before, before putting this one, otherwise, they will conflict and the game might crash so that's a good one but you might try it by itself 
not with another Wyvern mod. And you got Splendor Dragon variants, this adds even more variants to the dragons, more variety of dragons, and you want realistic conversations, uh, makes the conversations better, and adds more dialogue, and uh, it's a really good mod, more immersive. And Skyrim is windy, you want this one, so you, Skyrim feels more windy and more realistic. Master of Destruction, this is a good one. <laughs> Point the way, this will add more signs and uh, tell you where you are and which way to go and which way is what. Just with uh, a lot of signs everywhere in the world, this is a very good one too. Magical College of Winterhall, this one's awesome, uh, just check it out. Obsidian Weathers is up next, uh, this improves a lot of things, as you can see right there. And. Uh, it's a really good one. TLS Insectopia, this is adding more insects to the game, butterflies and here and there and uh, all those kind of things to make the game look better. Then you want modified in CD. Then you want well this is Wolf if you wanna Wolf as a follower. It's a really good one. Then you add better not presets, then you add immersive citizens, it helps overall to increase, uh, increase the play inter uh, interaction and improving the artificial, uh, artificial intelligence of the characters and stuff. Then you want faster leveling up, then you put great cities of soldier of what? CD overhauls. Then you want to put better return presets. Nordic Snow Elf playable race. That's if you want to check that race out. Then you want to put playable Blood Elf race. Then you want to put immersive movement. And that's it. That's the list. So if you all use this list, uh, your Skyrim should look really good and it will be more immersive and uh, you have a great time roaming around all the forests and all the mountains in Skyrim and uh, just get lost in this wonderful world. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, please give it a like, subscribe if you want to see more of uh, the best games and I hope you enjoy these mods and I hope you have a great time playing and uh, see you on the next video. Ciao!